Hello everyone and welcome to day three, looking at our latest blog series that began on Monday, looking at Rowan Williams' latest book, Candles in the Dark, Faith, Hope and Love in a Time of Pandemic. It's a wonderful little book, there are 26 little reflections in it. Um, today's is called Staying Put. Um, the irony of this title is probably not lost on any of you at this time. Jesus' basic command to us was, and indeed is, love one another as I have loved you which he stated in John's Gospel, chapter 13, verse 34. This would went on to expand this in verse 35 by saying that, by this command, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. The membership badge of being in Jesus' group of followers is the deep-rooted love of fellow believers. It's in the spiritual DNA. The Apostle John emphasises this too in 1 John, chapter 4, verse 21, when he says, He has given us this command. Anyone who loves God must also love their brother and sister. Jesus basically has overturned the views of the past by creating a group with one ethos as its criteria, that is love. Race, ethnicity, language, wealth and status all fade away to insignificance. Whether you are covered in tattoos, whether you've lost a limb, whether you don't eat meat, even if you follow Welsh rugby, categories do not matter to Jesus. He created a group of people where the identifying factor is love. There are no rules about appearance, diet, uniform or funny hats. Jesus' followers are identified by their love for each other and everyone else. Indeed, we see this in Acts chapter 2, verse 44, that all the believers were together and had everything in common. They sold property and possessions to give to anyone who had need. This was practical love in action. And must have made a very good impression on the local population around Jerusalem at that time. The need for this practical love is still evident today, and it's evident in the donations to the food bank, in helping our elderly neighbours, or by just keeping in touch with people we may have not seen for a while, as best we can. Paul's letters to the emerging Christian communities see Jesus' love in turn described as unconditional, sacrificial, forgiving, eternal, and of course holy, because he himself was holy, all culminating in his death for us upon the cross, which took in all those descriptions and many more. Uh, by us obeying the will of God and the Holy Spirit, we can love as Jesus loves us, but it doesn't and shouldn't stop at just fellow believers. We can and should show the love, to G love of Jesus to friends, colleagues, even people we may perceive as our enemies. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 44, it says, Love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Jesus' love is eternal. He does not abandon us or turn away, even when we fall short, as we often do. This is what Rowan Williams means, in a sense, by his reflection title for today, Staying Put. That even when Jesus himself was denied and abandoned by his own friends and disciples, he did not do the same to them. On the last evening of his earthly life, Jesus prayed for all of us, which is often something that's overlooked. People think he just prayed for his disciples. But as we see in John's Gospel, chapter 17, verse 20, my prayer is not for them alone, i.e. his closest disciples. I pray also for those who will believe in me through the message. Even on the cross, Jesus only shows care and empathy for others, his friends and family, making sure they would be okay in his suffering. Staying put, then, means staying with the people God has given us to love to be relational and nurture those relationships through all the good and not-so-good times. As a theme, staying put and an idea resonates with us this year, as many of us have done just that for most of it. But see as a hope and an encouragement the time spent with the people you love and learn to nurture those relationships. And even if you've faced all of this year and more on your own, the other half of this hope is that Jesus is staying put too. Staying put has often meant, and still don't, it currently does mean, not meeting in church, not worshipping together collectively, not interceding for each other, and not taking the Eucharist. Or does it? This can and all still does happen. Staying put need not mean standing still. Jesus is not going away. He is with us always to the end of time, as he pledged. Wherever we are, whatever we do. We see in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20, for whenever two or three gather in my name, then I am with them. So let Jesus' omnipresent be, omnipresence be an encouragement. He is with us, staying put, 
and he was ahead of the game as always. Being there in spirit means he doesn't breach any current lockdown guidance. So may the love of Jesus, the faith and hope of better days ahead, give you all hope in these strange times. He will never leave us. Jesus always loves us and is staying put with us forever. So be encouraged to love one another as he loved us. If you're weary and burdened, he will give you rest. And in your toughest of times, remember the Footprints poem. It was then that he carried you. Have a good day, everyone. Be encouraged. Much love. Bye for now.